Patient here and he ticked. Look yeah. at the uh, double ended bumper job that there it uh, is. Todd Kelly's getting here. I'm not sure if they touched there, but Cameron went onto the ripple strip and that tilted the car, of course. So they're touching, they're touching, they're side to side on the way to eight. Kelly gets past Cameron McConville. Now there's a big car. Here. Will they get through there two abreast? Well, yeah, no, no they no. won't. There's chaos, there's chaos. Well, this is and a I bad didn't one. think you could possibly get two cars through there. This stuff's insane. It was Dumbbell trying to get past Cameron McConville. We're not sure if that triggered it. Colin Bond sweeps across the stewards' room. This uh, will be, of course. Scramble, you could see that coming way. from a lap back. I said to Cameron. you guys. Yep. They are past 75% race distance, keep in mind, guys. So they can stop the race here if they want. And Stephen Johnson, of course, caught up in that. He is finally out of the race, one would suspect, after carrying on with a very battered car. We we have seen, with Junior. We've seen some absolutely... Ridiculous moves through fire turn over, guys. The, fight over? the territory they were fighting yeah, over. That was all because the field was artificially water. grouped when it shouldn't have been. Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah. I mean, uh, the bottleneck uh, from the lap car definitely bunched the guys up more than normal, and uh, everyone gets a bit racy, not long to go in the event, and uh, everyone's pretty buggered. There's Brad Jones tied up there. Sorry, Garth, and uh, of course Cameron, your teammate. Now further up the track is that Lark, uh, is that uh, Jason or uh, Mark? It's Mark Witterbottom further up the track. Well, look at this unfold here. We've got to look at this from a few angles. It's Dumbrell here trying to make a pass on Cameron McConville, and this in the sweeper just touched him, just it's enough to turn him around. And look, look at what that. happened. Damage. It was barely a touch. It looked like they didn't touch. Well, 220 k's. You can imagine. Much. No, it doesn't take much. And the this... cars are fairly unloaded there. Just enough of a touch. Look at that. Yeah. Push the tail out. Cam trying to gather the car up, but by oh, that stage, a victor. So Jones and Stephen Johnson, nowhere to go. Huge damage. McConville just fought and fought and fought to try and hold that car. And then it eventually came around on him. And bang, T-bone twice in the driver's side. Absolute and chaos. Look at Bernard weave through here. Cars backing out towards him. Yes, just around the chaos. Look at this. Everyone's all bottled up. They've got steam coming out of their ears. Dumbrell. It's because uh, Cam and Todd were getting side to side, so McConville lost pace. that gave Dumbrell the incentive to come down the inside. But you've got to go back a step to understand why all the cars were together in the first place. Gee, scary moment for Cam there, because that was the driver's side that those two cars were collecting as they followed through. They had no choice, of course, but watch this as he turns sideways. And you can see Steve Johnson there and Bradley Jones both collecting that driver's side. You just don't want to be in the middle of that. Incidentally, 75% uh, is 59 laps. Greg Rust.